Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Zara Butte. I know it's been a while since I last uploaded a video onto YouTube. But that's because I've been so busy and um, I have like a lot to do in between and it's not just YouTube and I never really understood how demanding YouTube could be. Um, some people were asking me like why don't you upload videos frequently like I you trying to take YouTube serious and I am trying to take YouTube serious but I'll get the hang of it as it goes on. So yeah, so today I decided to be really, really informative about um, my hair and where I get my hair from because um, some of you asked, you know, what like what type of hair do I, do I have on my head and could I do a review of, uh, for it. So I only buy my hair from AliExpress. Now I'm going to do an in-depth review about AliExpress as a platform and, you know, as a platform for people that want to buy and sell human hair. So I'm going to talk about everything you need to know about buying hair from AliExpress. I'm going to talk about the do's and the don'ts. I'm going to bust a few myths that people have about AliExpress. As well as I'm going to tell you how to get the best value for your money, how to make use of AliExpress buyer protection, how to do safe returns and exchanges from your vendors, and literally everything you have to know. I'm also going to do a burn test to you know, test whether AliExpress hair is actually human hair. Um, I'm also gonna tell you literally, um, you know, every single detail there is to know about AliExpress. So bear in mind, this is gonna be a lengthy video. Um, this is purely for those who like doing research. I always say it before I buy like hair or anything at all. I like doing a lot of research because. Um, I just like knowing why things are like that and I also like getting the best value for my money um, So yeah, if you want to know, you know, if you're thinking of buying hair from Aliexpress uh, Very soon this might be the video you really want to watch just so you know exactly what you're doing and just so you know, you know uh, What to do basically so yeah, let's get right to first the part of this video is gonna be the myth busting I'm gonna bust a few myths about Aliexpress okay because a lot of people are out there and they do not know what the hell Aliexpress is about they just know that oh you buy hair from Aliexpress and that's all basically they don't know anything about Aliexpress so I'm gonna bust a few myths that people have about this uh, this platform and tell you guys what it actually is myth busters where we bust all your myths number one Aliexpress is a hair company. Now that is a very, very wrong and misinformed statement. Aliexpress is not a hair company. Aliexpress is a platform where buyers and sellers of different products meet. Basically, Aliexpress is like eBay or Amazon or whatever based in China. It's like China's um, Amazon or eBay, right? But the only thing is that it's mostly known for buying human hair. Um, I don't know why. Uh, it became so popular for buying human hair because on AliExpress they have literally everything. They sell lipsticks, they sell clothes, they sell gadgets, they sell silverware, whatever it is you can find on eBay, I think you can find on AliExpress. So that's one thing people have to know. It's not a hair company. It is a platform uh, for buyers and sellers to meet. So basically that is what AliExpress Number two. is. AliExpress sells bad, cheap, on um, substandard human hair that is also a really really misinformed um, statement that is because Aliexpress uh, the vendors on Aliexpress that sell hair sell in wholesale that's something people don't know they sell in wholesale so they're not retailers they get it straight from the source they process it or do whatever it is to it and they sell it to retailers or straight to the consumers so that's why Aliexpress hair is cheaper than normal hair that's because it um, the uh, the job of the middleman that's the retailer is eliminated it goes from wholesale warehouse straight to the buyers hands that is why the hair is somewhat cheaper than the hair you find in other hair companies for example if I had a hair company um, based in Canada where I live 
I'm not gonna um, travel all the way to China every day to you know ship the hair over here I'm gonna have a wholesaler back in China or wherever I'm gonna buy the hair from who's gonna ship it to me and I'm gonna sell it at my prices to my customers so that's why it's gonna be a bit uh, expensive if everyone if anyone did commerce back in high school they know that the role of the middleman is to you know connect the wholesaler to the consumer so that's basically why Aliexpress hair is somewhat cheaper than normal hair as for it being substandard of course some hair um, some vendors sell substandard hair I think it's everywhere like it's not just you know relative to Aliexpress some vendors um, sell bad hair they sell you know human blend and say it's human hair or they sell animal blend hair and say it's human hair that's just the way life works okay not every vendor is gonna be able to afford um, uh, you know the high quality type of hair but if you're someone that is that is experienced with buying human hair especially buying human hair online I can you should be able to tell the difference I'm also gonna give you a few tips uh, um, as we go on that will help you find um, real human hair even online myth number three Aliexpress is based in China Aliexpress hair is purely China based ships from China well that is not entirely true yes most of the hair vendors um, on Aliexpress are based in China but a lot of them are also based in the US in Indonesia in India and so on I think Alibaba is the Aliexpress vendors alternative for hair um, back in India, but I don't know. Um, uh, Aliexpress does not only ship from China, it ships from other, pa um, other parts of the world as well. They even have stores and warehouses in the US, so Aliexpress does not like necessarily only ship from China. Most of the vendors on there sh um, are in China though, that's one thing you have to know. Uh, off the top of my head, I'll say around 80% of the vendors on Aliexpress um, are China-based, but there are also vendors from other parts of the world, as well as some Aliexpress vendors that have warehouses in other parts of the world. So you also have to keep that in mind, Aliexpress is not only China-based, and besides, Aliexpress does not only sell his hair, so yeah. Myth number four. Aliexpress sells only human hair. Okay, so Aliexpress sells every other thing you can think of on this planet that we've established that. But Aliexpress also sells pack hair, Kneklon hair, braiding hair, synthetic hair, synthetic wigs, human hair wigs, and so on. They also sell mixed blend hair, so that's like synthetic fibers and human fibers. You know animal fibers mixed with human fibers whatever so like they sell all types of things now I'm gonna show you an example of an Aliexpress synthetic hair so I got this unit this wig this wig from Aliexpress as you can clearly see from the high shine and the stiffness that it is synthetic hair so I got the um, this for like 50 something dollars it was a bit longer than this I cut it sh um, short but like yeah it's synthetics and I got it from Aliexpress so basically Aliexpress does not do only um, human hair myth so, number five Aliexpress hair well Aliexpress stole my money honey Aliexpress didn't steal your money okay Aliexpress has, um, Aliexpress as a platform has a very strict buyer protection policy. So basically, Aliexpress pays on your behalf, just like eBay or Amazon. You release the money to them, and before um, they pay your vendor, you have to have confirmed that you received the goods in good condition and was exactly what you received. So Aliexpress is really strict on that. They always send reminders via email. Um, that you know have you received the goods is it what you wish for if you have leave a review and then only then can they um, give the payment to your uh, vendor or the vendor you bought it from that's why a lot of vendors try as much as possible to communicate with the buyers or whatever during the period where they're waiting for their goods to arrive just so that they have a good review basically so yeah Aliexpress does not steal your money okay you have to take proper pre uh, precaution 
and um, as we go on through the video I will show you what to do um, while buying from Aliexpress just so that you don't make the same mistakes or you don't make mistakes at all okay so myth number five is busted Aliexpress does not steal your money you just don't really know how to deal with Aliexpress okay? myth number six every other hair company in the world is better than Aliexpress because Aliexpress sells bad hair now, just like the previous myth we busted, Aliexpress vendors, um, of course some people sell bad hair, but not all the vendors sell bad hair. And like we said again, Aliexpress vendors are wholesale vendors, so they get it straight from the warehouse, okay? So at the end of the day, many people feel that, oh, I'm not buying hair from Aliexpress because it's bad hair. I bought my hair from, uh, let's say doo doo hair or light bulb hair company or something so therefore it's better than aliexpress hair i mean some people even go far enough to say i don't do aliexpress hair mm -hmm. girl you buy aliexpress hair mm -hmm. go you broke <laughs> no um some people don't know that a lot of these hair companies buy the hair <laughs> from aliexpress and resell them uh resell them rather to consumers so literally, most of these hair companies are the middleman in the equation. Remember you talked about how Aliexpress eliminates the role of the uh, middleman and just goes straight from wholesale to consumer? Well, these retail companies bring the part of the middleman and sell it um, at a higher price to you. And you feel like, oh, it's more expensive, therefore it's, uh, you know, better hair. Meanwhile, it's probably the same thing that the girl with the Aliexpress hair was rocking. Myth number six or seven, Aliexpress hair does not last. Okay, now, if you bought like good hair, like, and you tested it and you found out that yes, this is good hair from Aliexpress, then the rest is literally up to you. Um, the way you take care of your hair counts. I mean, I know, uh, I know someone, she doesn't really buy human hair, she buys synthetic hair. But the way she takes care of the synthetic hair, oh my god, she can make synthetic hair last for like, what, six months with regular use. So it's all about how you um, take care of your hair. If you buy curly hair, you cannot take care of it the way you take care of straight hair. You have to put extra, like, you have to take extra measures to make sure the hair is still good and healthy. And the same goes to any type of hair. No matter what company, if you don't take care of the hair, it's not going to last. I mean, I have used Aliexpress for months, and I've not like some Aliexpress hair for months rather, and like I've not had a problem with it. So um, I really think it's based on how you take care of your hair. If you cannot take care of your hair, then why why blame it on Aliexpress vendor? Like some people will literally not do anything to the hair, and when the hair destroys, they're like, oh, I got bad hair from Aliexpress. Yeah, that's why I got bad hair from Aliexpress. And I'm like, girl, you just did not take care of your hair. That's it. There are a lot of ways in YouTube where you can learn how to revive your hair, revive your curls, or whatever, and you don't do that, and then you come here crying blood, and no, ain't nobody got time. Okay, now we've busted all the myths, um, well, most of the myths I know about Aliexpress. We're gonna go down to the do's and don'ts from buying from Aliexpress. What you should do, and what you should totally not do while buying from Aliexpress, and just so that you can get the best value for your cash money okay so let's get right down to it first things first before buying from Aliexpress I will tell you get the app it's on the App Store it's called the Aliexpress app literally just get the app it's free and on the app um, you have icons for your cart you can easily um, Check your personal profile. You can put like a payment method on there. You know, keep your shipping and everything on there just so it's easier for you. As well, um, there are a lot of benefits about getting the app. You can easily contact the seller. You know, you can actually chat with the seller like you're like like a WhatsApp kind of chat. You can see pictures of the hair because you can ask um, your seller to 
give you pictures of the hair as well as it serves as proof of records in case you have a dispute with that vendor you can easily show proof that this is the kind of thing I told the vendor this was our agreement and you're gonna send it to Aliexpress and that helps in your dispute resolution and all of that it's really good for you to get the app guys I really recommend getting the app as well there are huge discounts on the app that people don't know about like for example on the 25th of August they had this huge sale that happens only once a year um, I think it's celebrating like Aliexpress birthday or whatever I don't know and on that day it was 55% off of nearly all the items on Aliexpress so you get huge deals on the app and I really recommend um, people to get the app so yeah that's the first thing you should do before you buy it get the app make an account whatever and yeah that's it next thing you should do is do research before buying any type of hair from Aliexpress there are a lot of vendors on Aliexpress and one thing people don't know that those vendors sometimes replicate pages so there are a lot of pages about hair different types of hair in fact sometimes the same hair owned by the same vendor so people have to do a lot of research now there's a way um, you can find out you know um, about the company and the kind of hair they have if you go on the app okay and okay let me just quickly open this up just so you can see it so now I'm gonna search uh, I'm gonna search for like uh, let me say 7a Brazilian deep curly hair well that's the thing I searched for last and now this comes up this pops up uh, let me just yeah so this pops up on the screen these are like a lot of companies a lot right now I'm gonna show you how you can find reviews about the seller and you know the kind of things they do because a lot of these sellers duplicate their pages especially if they got negative reviews just so that you know you wouldn't see those reviews on their pages but Aliexpress has a policy whereby no matter the um, number of pages you create if we click on the store it will show exactly all the reviews it has shown on any pages they had so now I'm gonna show you how to do that so now I'm gonna click on this I don't know this is not okay I don't know if y'all can see it so I'm gonna click on one of these and it's showing me info about the hair now I'm gonna go down to store right here um, it says um, okay okay so it shows uh, the name of this I don't know if can see it so it shows the name of the store right here and I'm gonna say go to store now once you say go to store it's gonna show you everything about the store now you're gonna click on the reviews it says 99 feedbacks now from this 99 feedbacks this is feedbacks across all their pages no matter what they cannot delete the feedbacks as part of Aliexpress's policy now from there you can see what people said about this vendor you can also see pictures of the hair many people post pictures of the hair and whatnot. So I recommend. Yeah. So sorry, guys. I took my camera off my um, like automatic face finder because it was just messing up. So yeah. Anyways, so that's what I do before I buy the hair because I realized a lot of these vendors were tricky, really, really tricky, and they deleted the pages if they got like really bad negative reviews and they go ahead and make a new page you know removing all those reviews just so that unsuspecting buyers would just like you know click on their page and buy the hair but once you do the steps I showed you you can see everything every single review that um you know they've had also Aliexpress rates them based on their reviews um, so yeah that could also help as well but also learn not to trust reviews because a lot of these vendors are very very tricky as well um, Aliexpress has a very strict buyer protection policy and um, companies or vendors that have a low rating continuously are punished by Aliexpress that's the word the vendors use I don't know what Aliexpress does to them but they're punished so most of these vendors course um, buyers to give them leave them positive review they actually bribe buyers to leave them positive review they'll, they'll be like I'll give you a free gift if you leave me a positive review or um, I will add an extra bundle if you leave me a five-star review or whatever they try as much as possible to bribe um, 
the buyers and if you fall for that most times if you get into trouble and you leave them positive review once you've left your review it's out of AliExpress's hands because then you have agreed that you're okay you are okay with the product and that you are okay like with the service so there's nothing else they can do about that you can open a dispute nothing so I'm always really careful not to leave a review till I am sure about the product that I have so yeah put that in mind always do your research check the reviews you know find out about the company find out about the kind of hair they, uh, they have and what next thing you should do before you buy from Aliexpress is to make sure that you only buy through Aliexpress now I'm saying this because some vendors might say oh what you're asking for I don't have a page for that can we do it through PayPal can we make the payment through some third-party website do not do not do that ever ever that's because once you take away um, take the business away from or outside of Aliexpress you're on your own there's no buyer protection there's nothing nada so literally the seller has the right to just take your money and not even send anything to you because there is no form of legal protection for yourself so do not ever ever no matter how tempting the, F, uh, the offer might be do not ever accept to take your business outside of AliExpress. There are a lot of people that have been duped as a result of that. You know, some people that pay through PayPal. Since AliExpress could not verify the payment, they had nothing to do with it. And that's how their money was gone. So I always warn people, do not ever take your business outside of AliExpress. Now I'm going to tell you how you can safely return uh, goods you are not really happy with back to Aliexpress as well as how you can get your refund and make sure you get your refund everything that has to do with buyer protection on Aliexpress so basically most vendors on Aliexpress only accept faultless goods as returns so basically you bought the hair bundle and you did not take it out of the package and well you took it out of the package and we did not like unravel it or anything like that most vendors only accept that just for safety and to make sure you never you didn't tamper with the hair and yeah most that's the only way most vendors actually um, you know refund your money to you um, most times if you get like the wrong hair you know um, it, like immediately that this is not what you ordered like for example maybe you ordered like a Brazilian deep wavy hair and you got a straight hair you don't even need to take it out of the packaging to know that this is not what you ordered so you know that you can re um, return it without um, you know without like any trouble as well if you just decide you know what let me just keep the straight hair you can you know open up a, uh, a dispute on Aliexpress you know try and talk things out with the seller they can maybe give you a partial refund for that or something like that you know that's one thing uh, you can do you can always open up a dispute um, with the vendor um, and Aliexpress acts as the dispute uh, you know the resolver or something like that so whatever conclusion you guys come to or whatever agreement you come to Aliexpress is there to enforce that both parties keep to their word now if you've taken off the hair um, you've sewn it on your head and you realize that it has a quality problem well it's up to every individual company have ways by which they deal with quality control um, I don't know um, you know exactly what each company has but basically most companies just deal with it um, that if you have quality control they can give you like a partial refund or they can send you uh, new hair or something it's just up to the companies themselves uh, but I'll just tell you a few of the guidelines um, when it comes to returns okay I wrote it down you know it's organized and all that now if you did not receive your order um, within the time frame now I'm gonna explain what the time frame is um, when I talk about shipping um, in a couple minutes so if you do not receive your order within the time frame you will be refunded so already when you're gonna buy from Aliexpress it's written down there in small letters like um, underneath the shipping time if you do not receive your order by the time by this um, day you're gonna be refunded by Aliexpress because Aliexpress would not have re, um, you know, given the vendor the payment so yeah now if you do not receive your hair in good condition you can open up a dispute um, on Aliexpress you know what 
I am gonna show you guys how to open up a dispute using the app. So I'm gonna show you guys how to open up a dispute on AliExpress. Now when you're opening it up with the um on the full website, it's kind of really easy to follow. It literally writes open up a dispute right there. But on the app, this is what you do. You go to your page. Um, if you recently made like an order or anything, you go to my Ad Express on the page. It says my orders. It says um, orders awaiting payment, orders awaiting shipment, goods awaiting confirmation, and leave feedback. Now, goods um, goods awaiting confirmation is where you want to be. Um, once you've confirmed that you've gotten the product and everything, then you're gonna um, you're gonna you know tick it. But if not, it says open up a dispute, and then you open up a dispute um, basically. So uh, uh, open up um, open up uh, opening up a dispute. Uh, means that you're not happy with the service or you do not receive your goods or it's not the right goods or whatever for whatever reason you open up a dispute AliExpress tries to resolve it so um, for example I did not get the right goods I open up a dispute um, AliExpress either you know tells me okay um, they've already sent you the products it's up to you and the seller to come to an agreement and we enforce it so that's basically what it is all about and um, I'm gonna say um, when returning goods please no matter what just swallow down what the extra cost of getting like a tracking number and get it I'm gonna give you a personal example of what happened to me and how I lost $360 to Aliexpress because I did not take this precautionary step um, so I bought a wig that was worth $360 um, online it was a full lace wig 24 inches Brazilian um, body weight hair and I bought it from Aliexpress and well I don't like generalizing and calling it Aliexpress because I feel like after everything I said it's quite a bit ignorant um, I bought it from a particular vendor on Aliexpress and uh, the cap was too small for me like I literally had to be dragging the thing it just didn't work out for me and I told them about it um, and already added, and the problem was that I had already left feedback I already gave them stars so literally everything else was up to them and me right that's why I'm giving you this advice right now because I have gone through this and I know and I told them yo you have to give me a new cap I didn't like this I gave you good feedback and they're like, oh sure, we'll do that for you. Just measure your head and send it to us. And we'll customize the cap and send it to you. So I went to send them the hair. I opted for the cheapest shipping option, which was my biggest mistake. And I never heard from them again. When I um, kept on messaging them, they were like, oh, are you sure you sent it? Are you sure you sent it? And things that a number of things would have happened along the way because I chose the cheapest one. I didn't get tracking information, so I didn't know where the hell my package was. It could have been stolen in transit. It could have reached them. I didn't tell me. Whatever. I lost $360 for no reason. So um, next time, if you're gonna like um, exchange or return a good, please just don't think about it too much, <laughs> uh, and just opt for the shipping option that has tracking. Please, I'm begging. If not, you're you'll be the one in this seat regretting not doing so. So that's one thing I'll say. Um, and in terms of exchanges and returns, please use a shipping option that allows tracking. And um, yeah, that's basically um, all about returns and exchange. Just be very careful not to make any deal with the vendor outside of AliExpress Dispute Resolution Center. I am begging because I have been going through a lot of reviews and I'm seeing some ridiculous comments um, by some vendors uh, and by some sellers um, about what they do to buyers. I've seen. Um, vendors and salt buyers you know even bring God into the equation and say that God will punish them and say your sorts of things to the buyers and the things Aliexpress can really do much about the communication between buyer and seller so make sure you do not close the conflict or dispute center without making sure that it has been resolved okay so that's all about returns and exchange. 
Okay, so I'm gonna be talking to you guys next about shipping, and I'm gonna show you guys how you know whether your um, your order is gonna be a fast shipment product, a medium shipment product, or a slow shipment product. Now, most human hair um, extensions are fast shipment products, so they ship out between three days. You're gonna get your um, parcel um, exactly like between three to five days of you ordering it. Um, wherever you are in the world. Um, medium shipment products are necessarily just like I say a week and a week and some days. Slow shipment products are a month going on two months. Slow shipment products are mostly for synthetic hair, literally synthetic hair um, and all those other um, cheap products, you know the cheaper products on AliExpress. They don't really have much insurance or guarantees so um, I don't know, maybe that's why they ship out so slow, especially if it says free shipping. I'm talking about free shipping now. If it says free shipping, uh, then you know that um, and it's a synthetic product or just any other random cheap product on AliExpress, you're not going to get it to like a month or two. I bought something from AliExpress. I bought um, glitter. I was trying to like buy like eye glitter and it never came to me. It never came. To me I can't even I was so angry um, I, I, I like stalked the sellers page I sent him threatening uh, messages it never got to me literally I didn't spend that much on it it was quite cheap but I was pissed off that I could spend money and still not get what I you know paid for that was back then when I didn't know anything about Aliexpress and I didn't know this little tips that I know now on how to deal with Aliexpress vendors um, so I'm going to show you guys how you know and how you can tell whether your um, your order is a fast, medium, or slow ship product. Now, when you go on our page, um, I'm going to use our 7A Brazilian whatever again. When you go on that page, you're going to scroll down to the bottom of the page. And at the bottom of the page, it says, on time delivery, five days. Full refund if product isn't received in five days. Now that is a very fast ship product. So literally, it says what it's, uh, it is right there. If you don't receive your product in five days, it's gonna you're gonna get a, um, a refund. Most times that product comes in three days, three days from the day you ship it. Um, that's for five days uh, shipping. So yeah, another one. It's uh, if you want to know it's a medium ship or a just you know a fast and medium ship. It says full refund. If it's not um, gotten in 15 days, you know that the hair is probably going to come um, in three to five days from when you ordered it. Then if it says order ships in 23 days, full refund if the order isn't received in 23 days, it is still kind of a medium, a fast to medium ship um, product. It will probably come in between three. Three is the fastest you can get it, and then it's basically between five to seven days. Now, if you want to know a slow ship product, it says um, ships in six, uh, full refund if product isn't received in 60 days. What is 60 days, guys? Two months. So you know you're not getting your product till like, let's say, fastest you get it is three weeks. That's if you're lucky to get it in three weeks. Most times people get it at the end of the second month. So yeah, that's how you can differentiate between them. Some other companies will tell you 45 days, 30 days is in between, but it's kind of along the lines of what I just told you. So that's how you can tell when your product's gonna come. Um, sometimes AliExpress um, vendors use shipping companies that um, make you pay for customs um, at the door. So whatever customs your, uh, and taxes that your country has, they make you pay for it. Sometimes they pay for it. Um, it's just a matter of luck, I guess. But yeah, that's all about the shipping. Um, not to worry, most times um, if you're buying human hair from AliExpress, the shipping is really good. It's fast. It's one of the fastest shipping I have seen. It's even faster than when, when I buy like hair or whatever from US companies. So I rate AliExpress vendors and that their shipping is one of the fastest you can think of, literally. Last but not least, we're gonna do the burn test to find out if um, the human hair I got from AliExpress is actually human hair and to bust the myth that AliExpress sells synthetic beauty store kind of hair. So I'm gonna take um, 
my wig unit I bought from Aliexpress as well as the human hair unit I bought from Aliexpress. You guys have probably seen me wear this on Aliexpress. What? Wear this on YouTube? Also the hair I have on right now and the closure everything is from Aliexpress. I have a particular vendor on there. That's also one of the tips I will give you guys. Once you find a good vendor, stick to them. Okay? Because good vendors on Aliexpress are hard to come by. Um, I got the closure and um, four bundles for less than 200 Canadian dollars and I rate this guys I have not washed this hair I haven't done anything to it I cut the wefts I didn't seal them um, I made a quick glue unit and you know how bad that is on hair but still this hair has served me well like I can run my hands through it and no no hair coming off no hair no hair coming off and this is, I have not washed this hair. I have put all the products of this life on this hair, weighted down and shit, but it's still good. And this is the closure. I like when they use this material for the closure because it's really strong and durable. If they just use the net, um, best believe you're not using that closure for a long time. I have used this closure, I've picked this part and it's still not bald. It still looks like a human closure. It's not even a silk based closure literally. I just put foundation on it. I just I just I just feel like once you find the right vendor, just stick to them man. So I burned the synthetic hair and this is how it looks. It turned into a ball. It's hard and viscous. It's not, it didn't turn into an ash or anything like that. Oh my god, it kind of burnt my nail, but whatever. So yeah, this is it. It didn't turn into an ash. It's really hard and viscous. That's because it's nylon. It's fiber, nylon fibers. So you don't expect them to have, um, you know, the same quality as human hair. Now I am gonna burn the human hair and show you guys. As you can see, it burns into an ash. The ash is in my hand. It burns into an ash. It showed out white smoke. You can see this is real human hair. It burns into an ash, like I've said one million times. And yeah, you don't see the fibers, they burn out. They don't turn into a sticky ball. And it has a protein kind of retained smell because of the protein qualities of hair. Now yeah, so we've done the burn test and we have shown that Aliexpress actually sells human hair. We reached the end of this video. Thank you guys so much for watching this. Um, I really put a lot of effort into this. So please encourage me by liking, sharing, subscribing, whatever. And if you want to see more of this video, just tell me. You know, I'm up for it. And as you guys know, this is part of my accent challenge series. That is why I'm speaking in that accent. <laughs> but anyway, till next time, lovelies. I love you guys. Mwah.